Live from the Main Street studio, this is 2 News HD at noon. All right, time to ask the expert, and we have the expert on carbon monoxide poisoning here with us, Dr. Lynn Weaver from Intermountain Medical Center, and thanks so much for coming in. Folks are cranking up the heaters, and there's always an initial concern about carbon monoxide in the home. Well, yes, that's right. And this time of year, unfortunately, we see patients with carbon monoxide poisoning. Right. We treat them. We just treated three very severely poisoned patients yesterday. Okay. We had a couple weekend before that. So again, as with every year, it just is a repetitive sort of thing where temperatures fall, people are using heaters, people are using uh, heaters in tents and mm -hmm. campers, and they sometimes get poisoned. And the, does the system get clogged? Do you have to clean it out and get it checked every year? Is that the rule of thumb? That's correct. So you should have a air conditioning heating specialist, the HVAC specialist, mm -hmm. come in and inspect the heater every year because you're right, Mary, that you could have a bird build a nest yeah, in your flu. You know, you wouldn't even know, and mm -hmm. then you turn on the heater and it malfunctions and could poison the family. In addition, carbon monoxide alarms are important. Okay, and, and you brought some examples. They're I did. From 20 something dollars. Right, this is first alert. I think the digital displays are a good idea mm -hmm. because if you see a number in the display, it tells you carbon monoxide is there even though the alarm may not go off yet. Right. The number may be insufficient. And it lets you know if the level's good or bad. Well, right, exactly. So the Nighthawk, a little more expensive, I think, than the first alert. This is internet only, but it's coexperts.com. This one has a lot more features than these other ones, but it's also more expensive. Okay, so that's almost $200, but it does more, right? It does more. It's particularly good for low level, and it's battery powered only. So, for example, I travel with this when I go on the road. I'm in a motel. Private pilots are using mm -hmm. these now. Sometimes they put them in boats. So it gives you mobility because these have to have a wall outlet, although they have a battery backup. Mm -hmm. This is battery powered, and that's attractive, and this is good for low levels. And it lasts a little bit longer than the well, others. That's right. We think the sensor technology in this device is good for seven years, maybe as much as ten. And again, a federal agency, the Consumer Product Safety Commission, says replace these kind every three years. Okay. I think that's conservative. They're probably better than that for more than three, but three years just to be safe. Okay. Well, keep an eye out for it and uh, use the carbon monoxide detectors. Absolutely. Thanks so much, Dr. Yeah. We'll be back in just a minute.